Hey guys, it's Chris with Super Drones, and today I'm just going to kind of do a quick tutorial on how to get your Phantom 3 set up and flying fast. Okay, here we go, guys. Going to pull everything out really quick here. Got our drone, Phantom 3 transmitter. Got our propellers. Okay, so we'll shut the box. We'll open this up right here. And uh, you want to make sure that these are facing as high up as possible. The antenna runs vertically, so that means you want these to be up as high up as possible, uh, your antennas. Okay, what we're going to do first is we're going to unlock this gimbal right here. It's got this little thing right here. We're going to pop that off. Now our gimbal can move. Now, um, I also put a Polar Pro filter on here. This basically is an ND filter, so it's perfect for video, so we can lower our shutter speed. I highly recommend that. Okay, we're gonna put our propellers on. As you can see here, they have different colors, black and silver, and then we've got black and silver tips here, so they only thread on one way. You wanna make sure they're nice and snug. You do not want them to be loose. So we'll just do that really quick. Okay, so those are nice and snug. Now we're gonna take our iPhone or our iPad. I chose the iPad because it gives me lots of room. This is the iPad Air. And I got a little cover for it too. So we max this thing out as high as it'll go. And we're gonna stick it in here. Okay, that's secured. Now we're gonna take our cable and we're gonna plug it in. Okay, so now we're gonna take our iPhone cable. I bought a super short one on Amazon for like 10 bucks. This thing's amazing, it's just a perfect length. And you plug it into the back right here in the USB port. And we're gonna plug it in. Okay guys, this is our, our transmitter. So we've got our power button right here. We've got our return to home. If you push this, it'll come home and land it. This is our throttle control. So you push this up, the helicopter will go up. You push this to the left, it'll turn left. To the right, it'll turn right. This one, uh, if you push up, it'll kind of move forward. To the right, to the right, and back and forth, so forth. So we got right here, we have our video recording button. You push that. We'll start recording video. We've got our tilt speed for our tilt of the camera. We've got our GPS mode and our attitude mode right there. We've got our photo button right here. Push this button, it'll take photos. We've got the uh, shutter speed right here. And we have our playback button right here. You push this button and it will play back what you just shot. And then this is where the, the charging happens right here for the transmitter. You charge it right there. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna power on the transmitter. You're gonna press and then hold. And then you do the same thing for the aircraft. So after we turn on the transmitter and the Phantom, we're gonna go download the DJI Pilot app. After we download it, we just press on that. We press on the camera and it will sync up with the Phantom. You'll see we have a live view here of our feed. Um, this app is really cool. It's got lots of cool features, so we're just gonna go through some of those. We're gonna push on this middle one here. This one will, will come up first. It'll tell you if you need to upgrade your firmware. You've got your GPS mode. Uh, we need to calibrate our compass. That's the very first thing, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. We'll press start to begin calibration, and we start calibrating. And what we're gonna do, is you're gonna take it, you're gonna look at the lights on the bottom, and you're just gonna kinda slowly turn it around, and you wait, they're yellow right now, and you wait for them to turn green. Now you're gonna go straight down, same exact thing. This is calibrating the compass, it tells it which way is north. Okay, then the lights shut off, and then they go back to flashing green. So we just calibrated our compass. This is very important to do if you move more than a few miles. Um, I like to do it every time I, I drive somewhere and set up. Um, most flyaways happen when you haven't calibrated the compass. So make sure that you do that. It's a very important step. Okay, so just a really quick overview. We've got all of our stats. We've got our height, we've got our, land, our speed, we've got the direction that the helicopter's facing. We've got our histogram, we've got a map right here. You can see where it's at. It shows you where your home point's at. You wanna make sure that the home point is selected there. Uh, you can do auto takeoff here, uh, return to home landing right here. We've got our camera settings. You click on this little sprocket right here. 
We'll make sure you want to do JPEG raw. That's my favorite. You want to have 16.9 here. White balance, uh, depending on what, what it is, you can put cloudy, sunny, or you can do custom as well. It's pretty sunny right now, so we'll just say sunny. Video size, you've got your 4K, 4K 30. Uh, some guys like to shoot a little bit of a higher frame rate just to make it a little bit smoother looking. But if you're shooting in a 24p project, I recommend shooting in 24p. So we'll just stay at 30. Style, uh, you can do custom, soft, standard. I like to do custom, and then I just like to kind of do minus, minus one all the way down. Different people have different preferences. Sometimes minus two. Um, both of these just kind of depends. And so we'll go back here. We're going to go to color. I like to shoot in log mode. That allows you to have the most um, information to work with in post. So you can really color correct it and make it nice. It gives you a very flat profile so you can bring back some of the darks and highs. So keep that in log. We're gonna go to more. Make sure these are all turned on. Overexposure warning, histogram. We're gonna use our right switch really quick right here and you can see as I go over, you, you can easily tell when I'm overexposed so I can dial that back. Super easy. Make sure the histogram's turned on. That's this right here. This tells you when it is peaking. If it's slammed up here, then that means that it's overexposed. And if it's on the other side, as you can see, it's slammed up there, it's overexposed. And then I'm gonna bring it down the other way. And now if it's slammed on the bottom and then it gets really dark. So you kind of want it in the middle. You don't want to be too hot or not hot at all. So, okay, we'll crank that. Uh, video caption on, uh, grid. I like this turned on for panoramas. Anti-flicker, Movi, I like to be in uh, MOV and NTSC PAL, and you can format the SD card right there as well. Okay, so really quick to go in manual mode, to shoot in manual mode, you wanna click this button right here. You wanna make sure this is always blue. If it's not blue, that means it's in auto mode. So from here, you can use the switch on the right side, and we can crank that up. You've got your ISO. You gotta be careful, because if you push this again, it'll shut off and you won't be in manual mode anymore. You will be in automatic mode. So you wanna make sure this is always blue if you wanna shoot in manual mode. And to get out of this, I just go up here. It's a little bit wonky, but I go up here and then I gotta exit out of here. Okay, so that's for those settings I like to use for the camera. Hey guys, we're gonna do our first flight. So first of all, safety is the first priority. Do not fly around people. Do not fly around large groups. Do not fly around uh, downtown cities, around traffic, around airports, around military bases, um, around kids, around people. You wanna be far away in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere right now. It's nice and safe. So you wanna find a place like that for your first place to go. And in general, um, we wanna be safe. We don't wanna put a black eye on the drone industry right now. So let's be super safe. Okay, here we go. So to start the motors, we're gonna take our two sticks, bring them down together. It'll give us two little zzz, zzz, that means it's ready to go. Make sure that it says safe to fly GPS in our GPS app. And I'm gonna go ahead and start recording video. I'm gonna push the button on the left side here. And when we first take off, we're just gonna slowly raise the throttle. And it will take off. And we're in GPS mode, so the cool thing about GPS mode is that it'll stay in the same spot. So I could take my hands off and the, the GPS is gonna keep, keep it there. Now if I flip it into attitude mode, as you can see the wind is gonna start to push it away because now the GPS is not holding it. So to start off with, we're gonna fly in GPS mode. So I'm gonna use my, my right stick to bring it back to me. So I'm just gonna dip my right stick down a little bit into the left and it'll bring it back to me just like so. Okay, so now I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna kinda go to the right a little bit, move, move to the right, move to the left. I'm only using the, the, the left stick right now. So going to the left, pushing forward, pushing backwards. Okay, so now we're gonna try a really quick yaw. We're gonna turn to the right with our left stick. We're gonna turn to the right. Now, if you notice what happens here, forward on my right stick now is making it go right instead of straight away, away from us. So this is called orientation. So you need to practice and practice and practice and get really, really good. So we'll even turn it towards us. So now pushing forward actually makes it come towards us and backwards makes us go away. So it totally changed it. Okay, so we're gonna flip around and there's a bunch of different drills that, that you can do. There's one, uh, the first one we'll do we're just gonna kind of fly and we're gonna kind of hover a certain target. One thing you can use uh, just for a tip is, is your shadow. You can use your shadow to figure out where you're at. So we'll try to kind of hover over a spot. We'll go to the left. We'll hover over another, another spot. 
So we're gonna do a landing now. So I'm gonna come in, stay kind of far away, don't get too close. And I'm gonna slowly bring the throttle down, nice and slow. Just keep it nice and slow. You're gonna use your, your right stick to help kind of guide the helicopter down. And we slowly bring it down and then we lower it. We don't let it, this bounce back up to the medium, the medium position because then the motors are gonna start, start up again. So you just wanna drop it down, all the way down, then the motors will shut off. So, all right guys, that's pretty much it. Um, also, there's battery warnings on here. So at 30%, it'll start to warn you. Then at 10%, it'll do auto return to home and land. So yeah, I hope this helps you guys out. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot more tips and tricks. And also check out CineChopperUniversity.com, which is the number one aerial cinematography drone school. And then get your drones at SuperDrones.com.